Today we're going to show you how to run the Dash Qt client on testnet. First you're going to want to visit dashtalk.org and then find the official developer thread. And once you go there, go into testing and locate the version 12 testing thread and go to the last page. Now you're going to want to look for a post with a download link to the latest release. You can see right here the official Dash developer Flare posted links to all the downloads. You can see 12.0 is the latest version. So in the future you want to keep checking this thread to see if there's any new client releases. And if there is, this zero right here will change. So go ahead and download whatever version you need, Windows, Mac, or Linux. And let the download finish. Go ahead and open your download and drag the folder inside to your desktop. Close that. Open that folder. Go into bin and then drag the dash QT to your desktop. For Windows and Mac, this is going to be different. Go ahead and close that. All right, now we're going to go into our dash data directory. So open your home folder. Look for the hidden files and folders. Go into the dot dash data directory. Open the dash dot comp with the text editor and type in testnet is equal to one. Click save. Close that and get out of the dash data directory. Now we're going to open our terminal and we're going to CD change directory to desktop. Now we're going to run the dash QT client using this command dot slash dash QT and then hit enter. And this is going to load up the dash core testnet wallet. You can see version 12. All right, so I went ahead and already had the testnet blockchain downloaded. Usually you'll see a little bar down here and you're gonna have to wait for the entire blockchain to download. Probably takes like 10 minutes. Okay, so now we have the testnet dash client open. Back in our browser, let's visit test.faucet.ninja.pl. All right, and you'll see this page. In your wallet, click the Receive tab and then Request Payment. Copy the address and over in your browser, paste it in. Finish the CAPTCHA and get coins. And you can see incoming transaction 1000 dash, 1000 dash pending. All right. Go ahead and close your testnet wallet. You can close these browser windows. Close your terminal. Let's open the home directory again. Hidden files. The dash directory. And you can see this testnet3 
directory was created for us. And in there, all the testnet data files. Okay, so if you want to get back to the normal client and back onto mainnet, all you need to do is open your dash.conf and remove the testnet equals one line. Click save. And then you can open your wallet like you normally do. And you can see dash core 11.2.23 on mainnet. Back on mainnet. Close that out. Go back to testnet in the dash data directory, open the dash comp. Testnet is equal to one. Save, close. Get out of the data directory, open your terminal again. CD to desktop and run the dash QT client with dot slash dash QT and we get testnet again. Testnet wallet, thousand dash still pending. Close testnet, close your terminal and once again, home directory, dash data, dash comp, Remove testnet is equal to one, save, close, open your regular dash client and back into mainnet again. As you can see, we switch in between testnet and mainnet very easily. All you need to do is open the dash dot comp and remove the testnet is equal to one line. Boom, mainnet again. That's it. You can now test the dash QT client on testnet.